This vlog is gonna go very different than usual. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna film past this point, but I had meant to film today because my laptop is getting dropped off. It hasn't been dropped off yet. But this morning we had an incident and um, unfortunately we had to put Pip down this morning. So, um, oh. Like, I, uh, we've known, we've been kind of ready for it to come for a while because he's old, he's been having issues, and if you guys remember during Vlogmas, he, I mentioned he was very close to death at one point, um, during Vlogmas in December. Let me just adjust you guys. And, and so we've been kind of, well, I mean, we haven't been wishing it, but we've been ready, so, um, I just found him this morning and he had gone through a trauma and it turned out he may have been having strokes last night and then he had an accident today and I, I found him and I rushed him to the vet and I knew immediately that that was going to be it. I knew when I got him to the vet what, what would need to happen. Um, so I'm, I'm doing okay. Like I said, we've been pretty ready for it you know every single time we've woken him out woken him up out of a very deep sleep we've wondered if that's it you know if we find him and go to shake him he's gone um i i didn't want it to end as traumatically as it just did for him but um he's you know not in pain anymore and he had a good long life you know i've had him since i was 10 for 20 years so um, oh god. Spart hasn't really caught on yet. Um, he looked for him when I got home, but he hasn't been searching quite as much lately, but I imagine in the next day or so, he'll be trying to find him. But, um, a friend of mine, um, actually sat with me because Trevor was unfortunately teaching. He's trying to get out of there. Um, but a friend sat with me when we put him down and she came over for a little while afterwards, which was a, a nice, which was, I'm so grateful for because it was nice to have that distraction for a few hours of just chatting with a friend and stuff. So, um, uh, but yeah, unfortunately Pip is gone. Um, and, oh my god, and I'm, I'm honestly the type where I have to, I prefer to keep moving, so 
that's why I'm saying I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog this was gonna be a whole you know unboxing my new MacBook vlog which should be here in like the next couple of hours and I think I'm just gonna see how I feel if I feel up for unboxing it because also too at least like getting my new computer though it doesn't replace my cat um it's at least something to be a little bit excited and happy about which I could use but if I don't feel up for it I'll show it to you guys tomorrow it won't be a true unboxing but if if I feel up for filming the actual unboxing and initial reaction I will but so just bear with me for this <sighs> um if I don't see you guys again today I will definitely see you guys tomorrow and then I want to apologize for anybody who's been waiting for the Mio part two review. I was gonna finish that up this week. I did my last session with it last week and I just need to film an intro and I was gonna film it today, but I don't feel like putting on makeup and doing a sit down video. Vlogs just feel a little bit easier. So that video is probably gonna be coming a little bit later than expected. So I know some people have asked about that. So I'm so sorry you guys, but like I said, Trevor and I are, are doing okay. He got there eventually. Unfortunately, it was after Pip passed because Pip was in so much pain and discomfort, even despite them giving him an injection of like a painkiller. Um, he was still just in so much discomfort and, um, and everything that uh, the doctor was like, I wouldn't even wait 15 minutes. He's, he's suffering. So Trevor got there just maybe 10 minutes after he passed and he was able to say goodbye to him then. But I'm just trying to, I guess, clean up here to stay busy. I, I'm the type I can't stop. I have to keep moving. I have to keep either planning or, or organizing or doing something. So um, I'm just working on that right now. And like I said, in a few hours when the laptop gets here, I'll see how I feel about doing an unboxing. Um, but it, it may just be we do like a, a MacBook tour tomorrow if I'm feeling up for it. So sorry again about, about that. So the laptop came in and I just decided, wow, this is terrible lighting. That's not what I decided, but um, let's try over here. No. Anyways, I just decided that I wanted to go ahead and film the unboxing and stuff. I started to take it apart and I was like, you know what, I really want to do this on camera and also to, you know, I like to distract myself by continuing to move and stay on my schedule. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the unboxing and sorry about the place. Obviously I haven't really got into it today. I mean, I, I cleaned out his area. We knew we weren't gonna keep the litter box so we threw that away right away, but cleaned up his bowls and stuff because we want to keep that so I've been going through the process of going through what we have for him Spartacus is right here say hi say hi he's in his Christmas sweater because it was so cold last night so we don't want him freezing but yeah cleaning up his water bowls and in his food bowl packing it away going through the food that we have left for him we have an extra bag of litter so i texted a friend who's a vet to see if she had any rescues or shelters or organizations that she knew of that were really in need of cat food or litter so just been going through that today sorry it's such a downer on the first part of this but um it's sucky to lose a pet because you know like the routine of having them is is gone and yeah handsome man but anyways okay let's move on to this unboxing so here is my laptop and it's so funny actually a, like a lot of things came in this afternoon when I got back like I got two nasty gal orders a sweater that I had ordered some shoes I ordered my laptop and stuff and it's like the universe knew that I like would need to pick me up this afternoon so that was kind of like a nice distraction once my friend left to like unbox everything and make sure everything was good and stuff and you know shopping's like my happy place so it got me got my spirits lifted up just like a little bit this is my laptop i got the macbook 13 inch pro this one does have the little touch bar and i got mine in the color space gray i wanted the darker color but that was the box that it came in like honestly macbook and like apple packaging is just so nice i will give it to them on that but here is the color that i got and i started to undo this part and i realized i was like no i gotta do that 
on camera with them because like that's like the best part about unboxing like electronics is just oh so good do the top oh, there she is so beautiful i think wow this is thinner than my other macbook you guys can see it back there that's my work one that one is old i think it's like a 2013 or something like that it's really old so i actually got the 2020 instead of the 2021 because it was the one that was marked down so i got a good deal on that i honestly don't mind between 2020 and 2021 neither of them have like a touch screen like the full screen is a touch screen they both just have the touch bar so that would have been the only differing factor and the only reason why i would have waited and saved up more to get the next version but this is the space gray she's beautiful she's stunning okay comes with a little cover wow that's such a nice moment so here is the touch bar right here how do i turn this on i wonder if it's even charged i guess that's so i need to charge it which i'll probably show you guys all of the features and stuff tomorrow i'll probably play with it tonight this is definitely a very welcome distraction for me tonight because i'm a night owl and especially now I'm, i know i'm gonna just stay up so this is this is good to distract me tonight but i'm gonna charge her up and I'll show you guys tomorrow all of the, the features and stuff on it. Then comes with a charger cord and MacBook changed to a C type, which is this type of outlet, which luckily Androids, shout out for Android users, have switched to the C type as well. Actually, I think iPhone switched to it also, but Androids did it first. <laughs> so I have tons of plugs for this. So not even a problem but there's that and then it comes with i'm guessing is like the little manual and warranty and stuff excuse you and then a wall, a wall plug anyway so i also got some accessories for it Ooh, really quick random thing that i also got in i got in this sweater michelle bought this one and sent it to me to ask me if she should get it and I was like "Ooh, I love it get it and then I was like should we get friendship sweatshirts and she's like yes order one so we both now have this exact same color and everything but it's so soft it's so nice it's from the brand gray bandit and I've never shopped them before but that quality is amazing which I would expect because it was a little pricey not gonna lie but I really love it but moving on to the accessories that I got for this First thing that I got was a multi-port USB-C hub because on this laptop, which I realized I didn't even show you guys, it only has C-type hubs on the side and then the side has a headphone jack. So you can't do USBs in here, like traditional USBs. So you need to get a little hub or an extension or something. So this one that I got was actually relatively inexpensive. It was only $16, $17. So this is from the brand Raykio. And you guys can see here, it plugs into the side. So it would go in right here. Oh my God, the grays match perfectly. Look at that. Wow, I picked such a good one. So it plugs into the side and then here are all of the hubs that it has. It has an extra C type here so that I can plug in the charger, but then it has three USB ports, a mini SD card slot and a regular SD card slot. So that was really important to me. I love being able to plug my SD card straight into my computer. So I was super glad that I found this. Again, it was very, very inexpensive. I was seeing like the actual Mac brand ones go for like $60. And I was like, no, I'm not paying that. So I got that one instead. And then I got a cover for my MacBook, make it a little bit more aesthetic. I just really loved the beige color. It's, you know, so on trend right now. So grab this and just like a little tip and hopefully it fits. I did have to like look up the exact model for this laptop. So one thing when you're getting MacBook covers, there's a bunch of different model types. So just make sure you grab your model code so that when you go to buy a cover, you know it's gonna fit your MacBook because there's so many types out there and stuff. Basically the easiest way I can say to do it is to copy the MacBook model number and then when you find a case do a control find on the page and if the cover fits your particular model it should show up in the description like listed of the models that the cover can fit or go into the reviews and search for anybody that has mentioned your model code to see if they said whether or not it fits but this one was a perfect fit. 
love it looks so good and then it also came with a keyboard cover it actually came with two keyboard covers oh are these two different colors they are Ooh. okay so it comes with a darker beige and a lighter beige i'm gonna go with the lighter one because i want it to like match the cover exactly there it goes cute and one cool thing that also comes in here that i didn't even realize and i'm actually super excited that they sent over is it comes with a webcam cover so you can like slide your webcam open and closed and i love that so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on because like that laptop right now i currently have just a piece of tape over it so i like that this comes with two because i'm gonna put one over there and one on this one just can't decide i think i'm gonna do the black one on this i want this to be seamless so here's what it looks like just a little tiny thing and then it slides open and close so there is on the top and you can just close it when i don't want anyone to be able to see me and open it so i'm gonna leave it closed really there's not a ton of reasons why i would ever need to open it on this laptop it's not my work laptop i'm not taking work calls or anything so I'm just gonna probably have that permanently closed for the most part unless i need to like for some reason take a random quick picture with the camera on this or anything or if i need a video chat but then lastly i got a laptop sleeve this is the one that i got it's kind of like this gray suede and it's got a little bit of a brown undertone that has a little bit of gold hardware right there there you go it fits but a really really cool thing about this laptop cover is that when i don't have the laptop in it it has this little flap here and if i just pop that where that little hardware is in it essentially becomes a little laptop stand so that's really cool that it has the option to do that and then lastly it also comes with a little pouch so you can put like your charger and accessories in here which i'm gonna do i'll go ahead and pop the charger in so cute i love the fact that it matches it's adorable but anyways that is my new macbook tomorrow will be a much more regular day in my life type of vlog thank you guys for bearing with me for today's portion of it i just like i said i really wanted to feel like i was still on schedule and stuff which is why i just went ahead and did the unboxing right now but we'll play around more with this laptop tomorrow and i'll show you guys like what i do with it overnight and stuff but i'm very excited to finally have it and also to thank you guys for bearing with me for the irregular upload schedule this week like i mentioned earlier i am totally down to vlog right now like vlogging doesn't feel overwhelming to me just because i think i can be emotional on a vlog i can be a little bit more raw but the thought of sitting there and acting perky to the camera for just like a regular review video haul or something like that i i don't think i can do it right now so thank you guys for bearing with me i know that i owe you a couple of reviews i probably owe you an extra video this week or something or next week because i'm gonna fall behind but i appreciate those of you who are being patient about that so i am gonna go watch some youtube while i wait for this to charge and then i'm gonna explore the new computer and catch up with you guys on some updates on this tomorrow Spartacus and I are leaving the OC Humane Society. If you are in the Huntington or just Southern California area near Huntington and you're looking to adopt a dog or a cat or whatever, check them out. I was referred to them by our vet friend of a place that was in need of some food donations. And I'm sorry if it's hard to hear me. I have the windows open. I have Spartacus back there. He's helping me out. He 
was just complimented as we left. They said that he is a very beautiful dog. But yeah, we just took, I couldn't deal with looking at the food. Today's been much harder for me. I'm having an incredibly rough morning just because waking up without Pip there and trying to meow to trick me for a second breakfast and stuff was hard. Last night was hard too just because you guys have seen in the vlogs like Pip knows what time dinner is and he would actually rile Sparta and he would you know always be like hey it's dinner feed me and last night I forgot to feed Sparta for an hour because I just <laughs> because Pip wasn't there <laughs> to remind me that it was dinner time but yeah today's just been a little bit rough so I've been trying to keep busy I've been doing what I feel like I'm willing to do I had to rearrange the dining area this morning that was where he fell and that's the thing that I'm really struggling with right now is the guilt over that because he was in my bedroom just a few minutes before and he was fine he was meowing at me to get up out of bed so that he could try to trick me into getting more food and you know I got up put in my contacts did my morning skincare and I made the bed which I normally well I've been trying to be better about it but there are some mornings that I skip and that morning I made the bed and by the time I had come downstairs he had fallen and injured his face and I'm just grappling with that guilt of I wish I had gone downstairs sooner and I could have maybe stopped it and we might have had another day or so with him but everyone's trying to tell me you know like it was his time there's been so many other times that Trevor and I have saved him when we could tell something was wrong and like that it could have been worse he could have Trevor pointed out you know he could have with his back legs having neurological damage from his strokes that he had overnight he could have you know tried to climb into the toilet and drown or something like that like it could have been awful and I, I found him within minutes of it happening but no matter what it's gonna take time for me to stop feeling like I should have been there sooner <laughs> so I'm just having a tough time with that this morning <sighs> but I had to rearrange the dining room because I couldn't stand looking at where his food area was because that was where I found him so I did that and then I packed up anything that I knew we weren't gonna keep to give for donations so all of his food he didn't have any toys he just he had no interest in toys so nothing there anytime we got toys from you know family members gifting it to us which was very nice we donated somewhere because he just he didn't bother he was so old he just wanted to sleep all day and then dropped off the litter with Trevor's brother because they have three cats and then I wanted to donate something so I donated the food to the Humane Society which that made me feel a little bit better it's like you know he's helping out some cats in need because he definitely had so much you know we definitely made sure that he was always well fed so if that could help them out that makes me happy but yeah, I had to move my morning meetings from work. I had to email work because I thought I was going to be fine last night. I was I was sad and stuff, but I was okay to function. But this morning, I just, I, I couldn't deal with it. But after, you know, I took a shower and started collecting everything and making a plan of like, okay, I... Like I wanted to get out of the house, which is also part of why I want to go drop all this stuff off. And then on top of that, Spartacus over here needs some food. So it was one of those, you know, if I'm going to go out and get Spart food, then I'll go ahead and drop everything else off so that, you know, people and animals who need them can have them right away. So I know it's like just going to take some time, but... It just sucks. The guilt is the thing that really is killing me the most. And I know everyone's saying you shouldn't feel that, but it's, I'm going to. Like if he had just, you know, maybe passed more peacefully, or if you know, it was just that he had had another stroke and brought him in and they said, you need to put him down. That's fine. It's the injury that really 
really hurts me right now. But the, the vet said, you know, even if he hadn't fallen, those strokes had done so much damage that he would have just deteriorated away so quickly. He didn't have much time left anyways. Uh, you know, I just, I didn't want him to be hurt. But I know I'll, I'll be okay eventually. I just, I miss him. Definitely feeling the hole that is left in our lives today. You know, yesterday there was just such an outpouring of love from everyone, and there still is. Everyone's still reaching out, but there's just such an outpouring of love from everyone, and you know, trying to make arrangements for him and everything. That there was so much to do, and today just trying to do my regular day without him there was really hard. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be fine gotta take care of the big guy over here so gonna grab him some food and when we get back like I mentioned yesterday I got a ton of packages in last night that I you know got to use to distract myself to unbox and everything like that and I'll go ahead and show you guys like fully everything that I got I got a bunch of clothes some shoes and I'll show you guys some of the functions and stuff that I'm liking on my new MacBook I have already used it to start editing this vlog something about going through the old clips to pull everything for the little memorial that I had in the beginning of this vlog at this point I've already done that part it's already done and something about doing that just felt really good and actually I was kind of happy as I did it it was nice looking back through all of his stuff and the clips that I have of him and me and just of him and everything and putting it together felt really really good picking up the song felt really really good but when I got to rewatching it that was really really hard for me the first time I've rewatched it a couple times since then and now when I watch it I feel like happier I feel nostalgic when I rewatch it it was just that initial one that really kind of hurt but I do like how it came out I think it's a good way to remember him and you know kind of dedicate the beginning of this vlog to him all right so we're back home and I always when I get Spartacus's food get him these these are like hey excuse you sit down sit down these are treat sticks and it's like five for ten but these are like really good really really good quality little bit expensive but like I said for good quality I will do it I get like five different flavors and I let him pick so we're gonna see which one he wants today okay sir you only get one so choose wisely which one? That one? Okay, hold up. Gotta take the tag off so you don't eat it. Cause you would. You're silly. Shake. Good boy. Spin. Hey! Spin! <laughs> Is your nose okay? Why'd you jump into me? There you go. You're welcome. Alright, Sparks eating in the background. Whoa, that is crazy bright. There we go. That's better. So don't mind Spartacus eating. He's enjoying his treat from being a good boy in the car. But I told you I got like a bunch of stuff in yesterday and I would just like show you guys everything. I'm not gonna try everything on. I'm just gonna unbox. I'm just like not up for doing a bunch of changes, but I will let you guys know probably in the next vlog if I need to return anything. If you guys don't hear anything, then that means everything fit. I got everything true to size, but I'll go through all the sizes as I pull everything out. I have a couple of packages from Nasty Gal and a couple of different shoes. The first pair I'm actually already wearing. These are from Adidas and these are just like a pair of gray high tops. I've been wanting high tops, but I didn't want white. I have so many white sneakers, which Next thing I'm going to show you is a new pair of white sneakers. But anyways, I thought I'd go with the gray and I love them. I love that it's green inside. It's so fun. So I actually got kids ones because I can fit kids shoes and it's cheaper. And these ones are the Hoops Mid 2.0. I believe they do have them in adults as well. And I got the three and a half, which every single time I've ordered from Adidas Kids, I usually get the three and a half and it fits good. So I go up like a half size from my regular size. But these ones run kind of small. Like these are a little bit tight. To be fair, I also do have very, very thick socks on. So that could be it too. But I would just err towards sizing up at least a half size with these. But I also got a new pair of Fila's. I saw these and I've had these like bookmarked. And then I just so happened to see that Journey's 
had them for like $30 when they're normally $80. They are literally $80 on every other website except for Journeys. The only thing is I did have to get these in a six, but then I checked my other Fila's and those are sixes as well. So I think it's fine. But these are the Electrobe and I just really loved the shape on these. I thought it was so cool. It kind of reminded me of the Louis Vuitton Arclight sneakers, but obviously much more affordable. And I did like put them on. They fit pretty okay. Like I could go down a half size, but I feel like Fila runs a little bit small because the sixes aren't too bad. So grabbed these. Like I said, I'm obsessed with this shape. This shape is so cool. And I'm realizing it's definitely a good thing that I got the spare room organized and all of the bookcases and everything up. Hi. Because I need space to put my sneakers. <laughs> and I might need to add another level to the closet shoe rack because I've already run out of room. Like that thing was packed to the mat. So yeah. But okay. What I got from Nasty Gown. I think a couple of things are upstairs, so I'm gonna have to run up and get some things, but I will show you what I can right now. The first thing is it's a long shacket, and I normally don't like things with buttons, but I figured since I'm never gonna close this, it really doesn't matter. But I loved the pattern on it. It's just like, you know, your typical kind of flannel black and white plaid. Um, but I thought that this was so cute. I got this one. What size did I get you in? I think that I just got mine in a six when I... Oh, I got mine in a medium and I'll go ahead and try this on just so that we can see the length and also since I don't, you know, don't have to do a full change for this, so. Ooh, I like this. This is cute. I don't know how well you guys can see me. It looks very dark, but this actually goes like all the way down to my feet. That's kind of hilarious, but I don't mind it at all. That's the first one, but I also got this dress. It's a sweatshirt material dress with a cutout on the stomach and it's in this beautiful chocolate brown. Like chocolate brown is so in right now and I just thought that this would be perfect. I love the shape on it. I think that it is so cute. I love the little cutout. So I actually want to pair these two together in an outfit. I think that, that would be really cute. Oh, I have an, an entire other bag upstairs of nasty gal stuff. I'll run upstairs and get it in a second. But I also got these pants, which I thought were like so cool. I'm hoping that they fit, fingers crossed. I got them in petite. They look like they're still gonna be long on me, story of my life. But they are these like crocodile kind of texture, like faux croc, faux leather pants. And they actually have a zipper on the bottom so you can like open them because like that open bottom is so in right now. And actually the length on this might be okay with like a pair of heels and stuff. And sorry, I still need to get to laundry. That's on my like list for today of things to keep doing to keep moving. Sorry, I'm wearing a bandeau and it just keeps slipping down. But then I also got this sweater vest, which is much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I think I even stayed true to size and this thing just like looks so big. Eh, might be okay. But I got this cream sweater vest it's very very soft i like it but this is long like i feel like i could no i couldn't wear this as a dress but definitely like a long kind of tunic i'm gonna go get the rest of my nasty gal stuff okay i had trouble finding everything but i found it i also got which has lint all over it already somehow but i got this black hat has the nasty gal logo on it i just felt like i needed more black hats then this one i got in a six i'm in between a six and an eight you know depends on how I've been eating. And on this one, I went down to a six because I wanted this to be more fitted, but this is like this gray cropped corset type of sweatshirt. It's got like the little bustier detail right there. So got that pair of just black biker shorts and I'm a little bit disappointed in these. I thought that these weren't gonna be as see-through as they are, but it's fine. I mainly want these to wear underneath oversized sweaters like this, like this sweater definitely covers my butt. So this would just peek out from underneath. So I can live with it. And then finally I got a pair of booties. These are just like white booties with a block heel. I wanted this kind of style last year just because I love white booties like this because I feel like they can transition into literally any season. You can wear this winter, spring, summer, fall. So grab these. I got mine in a size. I think that this is a size six. I think Nasty Gal only goes down to a six. Yeah, I think it's a size six, but it's fine when it comes to booty. I can kind of like fake it and then i got another package in i was waiting at my door when it and i got back so I'm not entirely sure i can't even did i order this or is someone sending me this oh so this is my wish stuff 
It is. Okay, this stuff is all from Wish. Oh, I can finally film my Wish video. Okay, I'm not going to unbox this on here. I'll let you guys see it in the Wish video. But finally, okay. So this is Wish. Got it. Okay, guys, so I thought I'd go through the new laptop, show you guys all of the things that I love the most about it. First off, this bar is so freaking cool. This is the touch bar. I can control the brightness on here. I can mute the volume or turn it up or down. So, and then when I expand it, I get all of the controls. I can use corners. And then since I am on iMovie at the moment, I can do play, rewind, fast forward, things like that. And then it has a Siri button over here. And then since I am on iMovie, it's programmed to do the split button up here. So if I wanted to cut the clip here, I would just hit this split and it's just kind of like an easy access way to do it. If I click on a clip, I can also turn the volume up or down. So that's really cool that you get those features here on iMovie. But if I switch to something like Google, I get different things on the toolbar. I can easily bookmark a page, add a tab. I can hit this and then it'll highlight the URL so that I can search for something or type a new address in. I can refresh from here and then I can go back or forward. So that's really, really cool. One of my favorite things though, right here, this part actually is a little fingerprint reader. So if your screen gets locked like this, you don't have to type in your password. You can if you want to, or you can do fingerprint ID and it'll open it right up. So that is so cool. I really love this. Those are like my favorite features of this so far. But if I find anything else that I like, I will be sure to let you guys know over the next few vlogs because obviously I'm gonna be using this for a while. So I'm probably gonna discover like new things as I go. But that's gonna be it for this vlog. If this is your first vlog with me, I'm so sorry that it was a downer. I mean, in general for everyone, I'm sorry that it was a bit of a downer. But you know, it's part of life. Loss is part of life. And it was one of those things felt like I wanted to include in my vlogs because these are also like for me, like looking back on my life and stuff. So I wanted to include this. And honestly, it was very therapeutic for me to A, have something that I was working on and doing and B, every single time I talked to you guys about what I was feeling and stuff, it really, really helped. I actually felt a lot better. So it was therapeutic in that way as like I was talking to friends about what was happening and kind of releasing my emotions and stuff. And like I said, those points where I let you guys know exactly what I was feeling and stuff made me feel a lot better because it felt like I was working through it a little bit. So I appreciate those of you guys who bared with me through this vlog. You guys are the real ones. And I know I said I was having a very hard morning, but I'm actually feeling a lot better this afternoon. I think for a while the mornings are going to be harder for me, but I know, you know, with time it'll all get better and stuff and i've been like also doing work on this you know i think we get him back in like one to two weeks and i've been in touch with a guy who makes like custom figurines and urns and stuff and he's gonna make a custom one for pip and i'm so excited for that so we'll have him resting somewhere here in the house i don't know if it's gonna be in the living room or if it's gonna be up in my spare room we haven't fully decided i feel like it'll probably be somewhere here in the living room because trevor and i will both want him around and i'm definitely the type like i like the idea of you know keeping their ashes and feeling like they're always with me so i'm looking forward to to getting him back so that you know he's back here with us but yeah thank you guys again so much also thank you for everyone over the last couple of days who has reached out whether it's by text dm leaving a comment all of it i really appreciate the sentiment and the support and your condolences and thank you in advance for anybody who you know reaches out even today when this vlog goes up or past today no matter when you reach out or even if you're just thinking of us and praying for us and not necessarily like saying anything to us i just want you to know that i appreciate it and thank you so much it means so so much because like i said he's been with me for 20 years since i was 10 and it's just leaving a huge hole you know anywhere i lived he lived and it's it's so surreal to me to not have him around but i love you guys thank you so much for watching and again just thank you so much for the support and i'll see you guys in the next vlog